It's an early season game against the expansion Anaheim Ducks. It should be a slam dunk Ranger win. To win in the National Hockey League, to win a Stanley Cup in the National Hockey League, uh, does not require normal behavior. It's abnormal behavior. You know, it was just one of those games where uh, you got a new team that comes into MSG and um, is excited, and, you know, we just didn't play very well. We just did not uh, execute. Terry Yates centering, and they score! Here's a chance for Terry Yates, and he scores! What a uh, Rangers just looked lethargic, would, would be the best way to describe it. They weren't skating, they weren't hitting. Uh, making too many mental errors. Didn't look like the team that was going to be a Stanley Cup contender, that's for sure. The open man is Terry Yake, who scores again! Mike just kind of pretty much was fed up. He starts screaming at the players that they're no good and they're not going anywhere, and this team isn't anywhere close to a cup. He stops coaching on the bench. He says, if you're not going to play, I'm not going to coach. I remember him just saying, excuse me, excuse me. Does anybody want to play here tonight? Anybody want to play? He pretty much threw it out at our skates and said, hey, you guys aren't playing? Well, you know what? Then I'm not going to coach. I mean, we pretty much changed our lines ourselves, and I had never seen a coach really do that. Uh, you know, yeah, people, they're, they're a hockey team, but they're named after a Disney movie. I, you know, this was about all that Mike Keenan could abide. Um, and so he threw a temper tantrum on the ice. I remember him looking at me. He's like, what happened to Brian Leach? We, was Leach hurt? Yeah, it went, well, we had a view. We where was Leach? Yeah, we had a I'm, view. I'm looking on the bench. I don't, we have a perfect view. So where's Leach? Where's Leach? And I'm saying, hey, Leach is buried. Leach is buried next to the back of both. He ain't he's playing saying, anywhere. Keenan put him in the doghouse. I'm like, well, how could this how be? How could you put Brian Leach there? And I says, he's not. Mike Keenan benched Brian Leach. Brian Leach and Jay Wells. I think he just had free license prior to my arrival in certain aspects of the game. I wanted to alter those those instincts in his decision making about supporting the puck a little bit differently than he had and and I tried to verbalize it with him for an, a few games and a number of occasions so finally I decided to bench him and I benched him in New York and, and uh, asked him to respond when he felt he could embrace what we were trying to accomplish and he was very stubborn and sat there for the most part of a game. In my mind I was doing all I could uh, that Mike was asking, but it still couldn't really get to the level that he was looking for or that he was comfortable with. Uh, it wasn't a good feeling for me, but, you know, that was something that bothered me um, all year long, no question. And losing this one, Mike Keenan's going to have to really sit down with Neil Smith and figure out exactly what's going on. This is very tough to accept. I mean, I remember that like it was yesterday. Keenan came in and pretty much verbatim said, Brian Leach, Brian Blank and Leach, Chris Chelios is way better than you are. I would trade him right now for you. This organization has you rated way too high. But I was friends with Chelly and we would talk and he'd be like, what's going on in New York? And I'd be like, what do you mean? What's Iron Mike up to? And he goes, I heard we're being traded for each other. That was the M.O. for Mike Keenan, trying to push the buttons to get the most out of a player. And uh, he knew that in order for the Rangers to be successful, he had to have Brian Leach playing at the highest level uh, that he could play. Well, the practice after was uh, a, a, an exclamation mark in terms of where we were at, in terms of our development and, and moving a program forward. We had a hard battle practice. We had to go up and down at least 45 or 50 times. I mean, it was one of those skates where, uh, you know, you had, uh, you felt like your legs were baggage claim for, uh, for, for 10 days. Yeah, I was very demonstrative in my approach to the practice. I physically pushed them. Uh, I remember breaking a stick over the goal. I'm sure it was a little scary for them to come in and this coach is demanding that not only are we gonna make the playoffs, we're gonna win the cup. So that's a, that's a big jump. It was us against him mentality. And I really think that once we understood that, uh, I mean, we took off, but I really think that that 24 hour stretch of losing Anaheim and that bag skate the next day uh, I thought was the turning point for us in 